Tropical Cyclone Faraji has lost a bit of intensity overnight and uh, is going to continue that trend for at least the next two or three days or so. We're expecting rapid weakening from here on out. The storm structure has pretty much collapsed and as you can see by the latest satellite imagery, although there is good convection, there is not much of an eye left anymore. In fact, there's absolutely no eye on infrared satellite imagery. You can still see hints on the visible satellite imagery, but there's absolutely none on the infrared imagery. Now this storm right now is not posing a direct threat to land, but we're expecting the storm threat from Mauritius to rise significantly over the next five days. Mauritius is expected to cop a direct hit from the system with great moral certainty as well within the next eight to 10 days. Uh, we'll play the, uh, oh, we'll show you some microwave imagery right now. Storm's not a danger right now. The eye wall has pretty much collapsed. There's not much of a threat uh, from this system. The eye wall is very weak and it's getting weaker as well. So we're expecting the storm to completely collapse. Whether this is an eye wall replacement cycle or shear, shear is the most likely um, option that the storm has uh, undergone right now. It's not looking good. The uh, microwave imagery and the infrared imagery just show you how appalling the storm is looking. Now, I'm surprised that the officials are still going with 130 knots for this. I'm going with 120 knots. Uh, but in my actual opinion right now, I reckon this could be as little as 100 knots. Still a big storm, but nowhere near as high as 130 knots. That's nearly Category 5 on the South Earth Simpson scale. Now, of course, if you are planning on taking a ship or a plane through this area, my best advice is don't, because you could probably end up flipped with waves in the centre of this system up to 15 metres high still. Uh, yeah, it's quite a dangerous storm. Uh, ocean heat content is looking like this. It's quite high uh, for this part of the world anyway over the next five days. It has dropped slightly, and you can see where that upwelling has really gotten to the storm. But over the next five days, the storm is expected to be in good sea surface temperatures and good ocean heat content. Not fabulous, but still good. Uh, whether or not it can, uh, it is going to be that good for the storm or whether or not the storm stalls still up for the models to the side. Now we're going to take a look at the model run right now. This is the ECMWF model run sustained winds uh, heading over to Mauritius. Now um, this is a worrying sight to see uh, as we play through the run. You can see the storm will weaken significantly over the next two days and then rapidly intensify. You start seeing those yellows which is wind 64 knots or above sustained and then those reds which is winds 130 knots above, or, uh, above sustained. So we're seeing a very worrying sign right now. Mauritius is going to cop a direct hit with plenty of those reds uh, as well. It's a worrying sign. This is 10 days out. The forecast still could change but there's great model certainty. Not precise certainty, I must say, but there is great model certainty up to around the 240 hour mark. Here's a GEFS uh, model ensemble. Now you can see that uh, there is certainty with the direction the storm's going to track, and there's about a 500 kilometer range. If the storm does track south, it's going to weaken uh, significantly faster and will not intensify much. But if it keeps tracking north, and it doesn't make that southwesterly turn, but it keeps heading more of a west in a westerly direction, uh, this storm could definitely pose a significant threat to Reunion and Mauritius after the 10-day forecast period. So if you are in Mauritius, you need to start preparing for this system ready. You need to start having your cyclone plan uh, ready uh, in action. And if you want to be ultra prepared, I'd go down to your local supermarket and get all of the necessities like batteries, canned food, water, uh, torch, uh, torch, uh, torches, a working radio if you haven't got it already. Because if this storm does make landfall, it's going to be a big landfall. And if you are in a remote area, you could be cut off for periods up to weeks, especially on Mauritius or Reunion, which are quite remote islands and will be difficult to get to uh, by rescuers if this storm does persist in the area. Anyway, that's the latest that I have on Tropical Cyclone Friday. If you did enjoy this video, interest, what would you like? If you want to show more support, most of you can subscribe. That's all for me. Catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.